Hello everybody! Welcome back sa akin channel. And yes, I know it's been a while since yung last video ko. Pero finally, ito, makakabalik na ako. I've settled everything dito sa bagong bahay. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start sa ating video. So, finally, I gave in and purchased itong All Covered by Anakai na Tinted Sunscreen. I got the shade Medium and I paid for 588 pesos para sa sunscreen na to. And surprisingly, when I was browsing Shopee, nakakita ko ng mga sellers or reseller probably, nitong product na to. And I was surprised, ganun kataas yung patong nila sa presyo. Meron ako nakitang 750, 800, sobra, as in. As in talagang yung ano lang to ha, yung tinted sunscreen. Kasi, if you guys will visit yung ano kay uh, Shopee page nila, they only sell this one at saka yung bago nilang bundled na kasama yung air blender sponge. So, that blender uh, duo or yung bundle will cost you 828. While this one is, itong, ito lang naman, 500. 88. I would say na medyo mahal siya at parang kapresyo na rin siya ng mga foundation. Pero, sige, titingnan natin kung okay ba yung price na to for the performance and all that kind of jazz na titingnan natin para sa product na to. So, wala naman siyang masyadong ganap na claim. I guess, ang pinaka-selling point nila dito is aside from being a tinted screen, meron siyang mga skincare na kasama. Meron siyang pump, which is a plus. Squeezy tube din siya. Ito yung kanilang consistency. Hindi naman siya ganun ka-thick, I would say. Medyo very slight. Very, very slight na um, run ito. May konting scent, but not so much. Ay, nako, feeling ko mad madark to sa ako. Yun. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little dark for my skin tone. Hopefully, hindi siya mag-oxidize. Ano? Anyways, sige, itatry natin to. Sayang naman eh. For today's test, gagamit tayo ng dalawang tool. One is itong uh, Kabuki Dense Brush and siguro itong uh, blender na meron tayo dito. And I'm guessing dahil tie up sila with Anakai's um, air blender, baka mas preferred or suggested nila is to use a sponge. But, itetest pa rin natin to. Lalo na sa mga friends natin dyan na kailangan ng extra coverage. Ano? So, for today, I will put the product on the right side using a dense brush. Tapos, dito sa kabilang side, gagamit tayo ng sponge. Okay. So, nag-zoom tayo ng very, very light. Now, ito muna yung condition ng ating face. Sa right side, wala tayong masyadong kailangan i-cover. Meron ako mga bumps, pimple bumps in there. But, pretty much, okay naman yung condition ng skin ko sa ngayon. Also, itatry din natin siya and see kung kaya ba niyang i-cover yung aking dark circles over there. Ayan. So, punta lang tayo dito. Magdat tayo ng konting product. Untian lang natin, guys, kasi nakakatakot. Kasi, <laughs> tinted sunscreen to, te. Baka, alam nyo na. Wow. Coverage wise, ang ganda niya guys. Kahit konti lang yung nilagay ko, parang na smoothen at na blurred out niya yung mga redness ng aking face. Wow. Ang ganda. Do you guys see that? Ang laki ng difference niya. Kahit konti lang yung nilagay natin, ang laki ng binigay niyang difference sa face after you applied. Pero, hindi siya ganun ka-obvious na may product ka sa skin. Ang ganda. By the way, I'm still using the brush. So, I'm expecting it's gonna give me a little bit more coverage. You know, mas, um, ano siya, mas impact yung uh, coverage na ibibigay nito. Pero, actually, kahit ganun lang kakonti, okay na siya. Tapos, it sets on my face really, really fast. May konting takin is very very light lang pero segundo lang guys magse-set na siya. And I guess depende rin siya sa 
kung gaano karami yung product na ilalagay mo. Pero sa akin, yung ganong amount ng product na nilagay natin kanina, I spread it around the face na yun lang ang gamit natin and it worked well. di ba? Parang pwede na kahit hindi tayo mag, mag set ng face. Pero alam mo yan, oily skin tayo. Kahit na ganyan kaganda yung product, I really, really, really need to. Oh my God, ang ganda. At saka yung shade niya, I'm not sure kung same sa camera ha. Pero in, in natural lighting, in natural, um, in the mirror, in person, okay naman siya. Hindi naman siya yung parang super dark sa akin. So, wow. And I still have a lot <laughs> ng product dito sa aking balat. Anyways, sige. Okay sa akin yung brush. Again, depende kung gano'ng karami mo siyang ilalagay. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon, I will get a little bit more product and I will apply it across the eye area. Kunti lang din ang ilalagay natin. Tapos, i-blend ko na lang. Okay. Well, it doesn't give me that full coverage that I was expecting. Pero guys, pwede na siya for everyday, no? Okay naman na siya. It somehow even out that area. Na lessen yung darkness. Pero kung hindi ka ganun ka-happy sa coverage na ganyan, I guess it won't harm kung gagamit ka ng sarili mong concealer. Pero sa akin, okay na to kung everyday lang naman ang pag-uusapan. Anyway, so, lagay naman natin dito yung product sa kabilang side. Again, same amount of product ang gagamitin natin. I'll try to put the same amount of product. As in, konti lang. Pero, I'm guessing mas magiging light yung coverage kasi sponge to guys eh. So, basain natin siya ng konti. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but definitely this one, parang mas less yung coverage na binigay niya compared dito sa side na to. You guys see that? So, you might need to reapply second layer kung sponge ang gagamitin mo. There you go. So, parehas yan. One layer lang, guys. Pero, obviously, kitang-kita niyo yung mga skin imperfections pa natin. Dark spots, Tapos, meron tayong mga bumps din na very visible pa rin, even sa camera. Tapos, yung redness around the nose, very obvious din. Since one layer lang ang ginamit natin, and then sponge yung ginamit natin na pang apply. So, I will leave it like that na lang siguro. Because, I want to see ano yung difference na gagawin ng product kung same amount of product lang, tapos magkaibang tool. So, since this one is looking more full coverage than this one, parehas na one layer, we're gonna leave it as it is. Alright, so I think happy na ako sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Although, I feel na hindi na kakailanganin ng face ko ang powder, maglalagay pa rin tayo ng powder kasi I just don't trust my oily skin. Definitely, pag bumilang ako siguro ng ilang oras lang, magiging oily na to kahit na mukhang promising yung product, I will still be uh, setting my face. Then, for now, ang oras ngayon, it's 9.46 ng umaga. I will do the rest of my face. Babalikan ko kayo guys para sa isang quick update. Alright, so I am back guys. And sorry, medyo natagalan kasi meron pumapasok na work. Um, pero, it's 10.25 na ng umaga after ko matapos yung aking makeup. And as early as now, okay pa naman siya. Hindi ko nararamdaman yung lagkit factor sa kanya. At um, I think nakatulong yung powder na ginamit, na ginamit ko. This is yung Fashion 21 na loose powder. Ito yung ginagamit ko lately. Tapos, um, as early as now then feeling ko mag oxidize siya sa akin. Kasi nung nag apply pa lang ako ng bronzer at ng aking uh, contour, napansin ko nag-darken siya. 
Hi guys! So, this is just gonna be a quick update. I was actually at Facebook. Nanonood ako ng um, live ni Miss Anna Kai kasi they will be releasing a new product today which is new loose powder. And I'm very, very excited about that. But, napansin ko, 12.30 na or 12, I don't know, 40 na ata yan. And ito na yung face ko. Parang halos hindi pa siya nag-oil up after 2 hours nagluto na ako niyan ha as in nagluto ako nasa harapan ako ng ng um, kitchen or nasa loob ako ng kitchen at hindi naghulas ang ating face i love it tapos although nakakakita ako ng konting shine and um you know greasiness ng very very light lang i think it's still manageable i like it so Impressed ako as of this time kasi with tinted sunscreens, usually mga ganitong oras nag-oil up na yung face ko. So, ito hindi pa. Yung pagiging, I don't know how to describe it, parang shiny effect. I think it's more of like a healthy effect for me. So, I love it. I love it so much. So, I will continue wearing this um, tinted sunscreen and then later on, yeah update ko kayo. Hi guys, so this is just an update. Ay, wait lang, hindi ko makikita yung watch. It's, no oras na yan. Ayan, 2.15 ng hapon. So almost, what, 5 minutes before 4 hours since in-apply natin itong um, tinted sunscreen ni Miss Anakai. And as you can probably tell, I don't know kung makikita siya, pero nagsastart na akong makakita ng konting pag oil at kitang kita nyo guys diba sobrang nag darken yung face ko compare sa neck hindi ko alam kung napipick up ng cellphone ko yan pero ayan ang napapansin ko sobrang medyo dark na siya to almost like pinkish dark yung lumabas sa akin sa face ko but in all fairness sa kanya ngayon pa lang ako nakikita nakakakita ng konting uh, shine dito sa aking cheeks area kasi kanina nung tumingin naman ako sa salamin okay pa siya hindi siya ako, wala akong nakitang oil build up sa face ko even dito sa forehead um medyo nakikita ko na nakbahagyang nag ano na siya nagsha shine balik natin yung ating bangs so ayan so yun lang sa ngayon 4 hours Doon ako nag-start makakita ng build-up ng oil. But, in all fairness, hindi pa siya ganun. Wala pa akong lagkit factor na nafe-feel to be really quite honest with you. Hindi ako nagta-touch up or hindi ako nag-blot ng face ko. As in, ito yun. After kong magluto ng lunch, mag-work, because I'm still working right now. So, ayun. Balikan ko na lang kayo guys later for another update. Okay, so guys, mag-check in na ako guys. Hindi ko alam kung pa check it na to, pero eto na siya guys. It's 4.47 ng hapon. And yung last check-in ko kanina sa baba, nakita nyo naman na nagsistart na siya mag-oil up and all. And now, na 4 o'clock na, it's been like, I don't know, 6-7 hours na, no? Tsaka ko lang nakita na talagang sobrang nag-oil up na yung aking nose. Yung, particularly yung pinakagitna ng face ko. And um, in all fairness sa kanya, kahit na mukha na siyang nag-oil up, hindi siya mulugkit. Or maybe because nandito lang ako sa loob ng bahay, it's also probably a factor kung saan mo susuotin to. Pero now na nandito ako sa bahay, hindi naman ako naka-aircon at um, gumawa lang ako in front of my computer tsaka ng household chores. I think it's also a good factor to consider Pero given the fact na kahit na ganun lang, in normal days, ganun lang ginagawa ko talaga, I still end up having a very oily skin. This one is pretty well. It's really holding up well. Although yung shine na nakikita ko guys, I would say minimal pa to. Sa loob ng 6 hours, minimal pa tong, um, ano niya, um oiliness niya. Tapos, feeling ko naman, tingnan natin tong side na ginamit natin is sponge ha. Actually, I am very surprised to see na wala akong nakikitang parang, alam mo yung lumulutang yung foundation 
or at least in this case, yung pinaka um, tinted screen, uh, even underneath the eyes, let me zoom in. Ayan, sobrang zoom na zoom na ata tayo yan. Okay, so yan, kitang-kita nyo guys kung gaano nag-oil up yung aking face. Pero, I would say this is pretty much acceptable pa rin sa akin on how severe my oil skin could be, to be honest. Tapos, ito, yung underneath the eyes na nilagyan din natin nung tinted sunscreen, uh, very minimal yung creasing na nangyari. Although dito sa, ano, sa taluka, ayan, meron ako nakikita ng crazy, tsaka pagbuo ng powder. But nevertheless, ang ganda. Now, going naman dito sa side na ginamita natin ng uh, brush, um, I think okay pa naman yung coverage niya. Hindi siya nagbago. Feeling ko lang yung pinaka-oil ng skin ko, nag-push up lang siya sa pinaka-surface ng makeup pero hindi niya nagalaw yung makeup at all if that even makes sense tapos even dito sa nose ko ayan o, sobrang shiny na niya ngayon as you can probably tell pero very minimal pa to guys sa totoo lang hindi, hindi ako na bothered sa itsura ng oil na nakikita ko ngayon sa skin ko Okay, so ito na tayo guys sa ating final verdict. Um, hindi ko na siya ibablat kasi I already have a good idea kung ano ang gusto kong sabihin about this tinted sunscreen. So first, obviously the price, I would have to say really to be honest, medyo mahal siya para sa akin. Now, may dudugtong ako dyan mamaya, okay? Shade-wise, tatlo lang yung shade na meron sila. Light, medium, tsaka yung bago nila, which is yung deep. Now, with that range, I think hindi usually swak sa lahat na, sa lahat sa atin kung medium sa, medium shade lang yung um, available or yung kukunin mo. You might end up buying another shade or imimix mo silang dalawa para makuha mo yung shade na match para sa skin tone mo. Now, going back dun sa first point natin na pagiging pricey niya, I would say na kahit na pricey yung product na to, given a few factors like yung skin benefits na ibinibigay niya sa'yo, yung um, amount ng product na kakailangan mo to cover your face, hence, Meron siyang medium to almost full coverage, ha? So, I think sulit ka na dun sa 588 na babayaran mo para dun sa product. Lastly, I think, ha, on my opinion, on my skin tone, it really works well sa aking oily skin. Pwede oily skin tayo parehas, pero hindi, may chance kasi na hindi parehas ang reaction ng skin natin sa isang product. Pero para sa akin, okay naman siya. Kung feeling mo kulang pa yung coverage na binibigay nitong tinted sunscreen na to, you might wanna use a powder na may coverage. Para at least kahit paano, madagdagan ng powder yung coverage na kailangan mo. So I guess that's it for this review. If you have any questions about the product, let me know sa comment section below. All the product information, links to where you can buy this, I will put them all in the info box. So make sure to check it out. If you guys like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And like this video so I know na nagustuhan mo yung content ko. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!